Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Paris leaves Thomas at the altar. Can't go through with marriage? The bold and the beautiful B&B spoilers warn that Paris Buckingham's diamond white confidence may slip as her wedding day approaches. Paris is a completely committed bride right now, but that doesn't mean she won't have misgivings during the countdown to the wedding. Paris understands what it's like to be with a man who genuinely wants someone else. BNB fans will recall Paris going through this with Carter Walton, Lawrence St. Victor, after Quinn Fuller, Rena Sofer, disrupted their wedding to reclaim him. This time, however, Paris could be the one to ruin her own wedding. Could Paris abandon Thomas Forrester, Matthew Atkinson, at the altar and decide she cannot go through with the marriage after all? In the episodes coming up to Thomas and Paris' wedding, she may discover new grounds to believe he is still obsessed with Hope Logan, Annika Noel. Paris might even get a call from Zoe Buckingham, Kiara Barnes, who had her own failed wedding to Thomas because he was hung up on Hope. There are numerous ways for Paris to begin altering her mind about her groom, and whether this marriage to Thomas would be successful. Thomas appears to believe that trading Paris for Hope will result in a happy ending, but this is unlikely. There may be a watershed moment for Paris, when it realizes it's a horrible idea to rush into this union. Will Thomas be hurt and humiliated when Paris fails to offer him the marital commitment she promised? In an intriguing twist, may Hope console Thomas after their breakup? According to our predictions, Thomas and Paris' wedding will not go smoothly. Despite Paris and Thomas's current happiness, their relationship could easily break apart by the time the wedding occurs. According to the bold and the beautiful spoilers, Paris may change her perspective at some point, so stay tuned for more wedding-related news as drama develops. Hollis discovers Tom's letters to Poppy, and Thomas says goodbye to Hope. The bold and the beautiful B&B spoilers for Thursday, July 11th, show that Brooke Logan, Catherine Kelly Lang, persuaded Hope Logan, Annika Noel, to let Thomas Forrester Matthew Atkinson go and support his engagement to Paris Buckingham, Diamond White. However, Brooke cautioned Hope that John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, was not the right man for her. Brooke appeared delighted as she hugged her daughter after Hope stated that she knew and was not a homewrecker. At the Forrester estate, Eric Forrester, John McCook, informed Thomas that he was looking forward to the wedding and could not wait to welcome Paris into the family. Eric was delighted to be hosting Thomas and Paris' wedding, regardless of the date they chose. Thomas despised Hope's state of despair and appeared to feel some responsibility, but Rich Forrester, Torsten K., maintained it wasn't his son's fault. Ridge and Eric realized they had to do what was best for themselves after Thomas said that he was returning overseas with Paris and Douglas Forrester, Henry Joseph Samory. Ridge later visited Brooke at Forrester Creations and stated he had a fantastic chat with his son, so Brooke said she had a good talk with Hope as well. Brooke was more optimistic about reaching Hope, and shared Ridge's desire for everyone to be happy. Thomas appeared at the design office on Thursday's episode of BNB to inform Hope of his ambitions. Hope cut Thomas off because she felt she owed him an explanation for handling his engagement announcement so terribly. When Hope admitted she was sincerely sorry and that Thomas deserved better from her, he informed her she didn't need to apologize. Thomas understood Hope's reaction and did not hold it against her. Hope insisted that if Thomas truly wanted a future with Paris, she wished him all the best. As Hope choked up, she remarked, maybe it was all meant to be. And if so, she hoped Thomas's relationship with Paris was eternal and magnificent. Thomas stated that it meant a lot to him before adding that he was returning to France with Douglas and Paris. Hope wished she could have spent more time with Douglas, but she knew he had a home in France now and was confident they could work things out. Thomas pledged to never take Douglas away from Hope and eventually reached for her hand. After Thomas apologized for everything, he hoped she understood why he needed to go on with his life. Thomas knew Hope would move on as well, so he advised her to choose the proper guy and encouraged her to promise that she would make it work no matter what. Hope stood there crying as Thomas went. Poppy Nozawa, Romy Park, tried caviar for the first time at Ayel Giardino, where Luna Nozawa Lisa Yamada, emphasized that Italian caviar was among the greatest in the world. Luna had learned this from Bill Spencer, Don Diamant, who wanted his new family to enjoy the better things in life. 
Luna also acknowledged to going to Spencer Publications recently and maintaining an open mind regarding her job, which pleased Bill because it was her birthright. Bill received word that Luna still wanted him to adopt her, so they had a beautiful hug at their meal. In the supply closet, Paul Hollis Hollister, Hollis W. Chambers, saw the flickering lights and was ready to examine into Tom Starr's, Clint Howard, rucksack when Deacon Sharp, Sean Cannon, ordered another case of wine. Hollis left the backpack, but he was distracted on the job and told Deacon he couldn't stop thinking about why Tom overdosed that night. Soon after, Hollis returned to the supply closet, where the lights continued to flicker. Hollis unlocked Tom's rucksack and pulled out a manila envelope containing letters, likely those Poppy had returned to Tom. Hollis stood there, bewildered, holding the stack of letters, plainly attempting to make sense of what he'd discovered. According to the bold and the beautiful spoilers, Hollis may face a tragic fate as a result of his latest revelation, so stay tuned for more mystery predictions and updates on Hollis's consequences. What secrets does Tom's backpack contain? The bold and the beautiful spoilers claim that Tom star, Clint Howard, carried a suitcase with him at all times. Tom, on the other hand, did not have his suitcase with him when on stage at I.L. Giardino. Nobody has seen Tom's bag since then. Tom's backpack will become a key element of this mystery, and someone is going to learn Tom's secret. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. Someone at I.L. Giardino will discover Tom star's bag. According to the bold and the beautiful spoilers, certain people know about Tom's bag. Of course Deacon Sharp, Sean Cannon, knows Tom would not put down the bag because he said it contained all of his worldly things. Sheila Carter, Kimberlyn Brown, and Paul Hollis Hollister, Hollis W. Chambers, are the only other people who know about the bag. It appears that one of these three will unearth the bag and discover exactly what Tom's belongings were. However, this will be a surprising finding. Who will be the one to find the bag and reveal Tom's past? Tom's backpack will be found in the storage room where he has been staying since Deacon brought him home. BMB spoilers. Does Tom Star have any family? The finding of Tom's bag is sure to pique everyone's interest. Of course, John Finn Finnegan's, Tanner Novlin, question regarding Tom's family will be ample motivation to open the bag and see what's inside. After all, if Tom has a next of kin, that information should be in the bag, right? Deacon cannot let Tom die without contacting his next of kin. Deacon will do anything he can to contact everyone who may be connected to Tom. Deacon is also aware that Tom was asking inquiries regarding Poppy and Bill Spencer. Don Diamant. Deacon even informed Tom that Luna Nozawa, Lisa Yamada, is Bill's daughter. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. Will Poppy Nozawa become a suspect? Tom recalled all of the letters he wrote to Poppy and received in return. Of course, Poppy's letters are probably in the bag. It is definitely impolite to read such letters, but Tom has been claiming Luna as his child for years, so that is sure to be mentioned as well. Is this enough to make Poppy a suspect? Obviously, Tom's backpack has enough material to raise many issues. Deacon is already certain that something happened other than Tom taking an overdose. Perhaps Deacon's insistence on checking in will prove murder, and Tom's backpack will cause a lot of trouble. Will the contents of the bag reveal who may have killed Tom?